Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be making this vegan friendly cake that has been decorated with candied pear slices. You could use any fruit here with white flesh, um, like uh, apples or lemons don't have a lot of color, so they'll absorb it beautifully. I've used pears today. This is a sugar syrup, so equal parts water and sugar into a medium flame until everything is melted and it's simmering and then I add in some gel food color. I have two different bowls going, also two different saucepans going so that I can add two different colors. Once it comes to a simmer you can drop in your very thin pear slices <clears throat> and then just make sure that you don't overcrowd your saucepan here. You want to make sure that they're all floating at least and the wider the bowl, the more you can fit in there. That's why I went for the fry pan option. I added in teal green, and this one here is just orange, but I did decide to add a few more drops of red in here to help deepen that color. Your fruit slices would take about 20 or so minutes to cook, become transparent, and really absorb that color and sugar syrup. In the meantime, your sugar syrup will thicken as well. Once they look a little something like this, you can take them out of the saucepan and let them dry on a silicon mat if you can. I use the back of my tongue to help press them onto the mat to make them a bit flatter. They will warp a little bit as they cook. We want to dry these out too, so pop them into your oven at about 100 degrees Celsius for about four hours with the door open. So they basically just want to dry up a little, still become flexible for you but dry enough to attach to your cake. In a bowl I am making some vegan ganache so this is cacao powder, maple syrup and coconut oil. You can add a pinch of salt maybe a little bit of coffee if you like to really enhance that chocolatey flavor but I just stuck with these three ingredients. Whisk it together with a spoon or a tiny tiny little whisk and then let it come to a nice solid consistency again. Stick your cake to your cake board with a little bit of that ganache and then fill in with more of the frosting. I will have a recipe linked for the banana bread cake that I've used here. That's on my other channel where I make healthy recipes. Stack your cakes like you would normally. And the recipe for this ganache I'll leave in the description for you guys too and I'll leave double the recipe. I ended up only having enough to create a filling and a crumb coat so I'm gonna double it for you guys so you can also have a second layer of frosting and that way your cake looks a lot neater than what mine will. <laughs> Trapping in those crumbs with that frosting again just that crumb coat. When you're happy with the coverage take a frosting scraper and smooth out the sides. I didn't really have a lot of frosting to work with, so this is what I stuffed it at. And then bring the lip of frosting to the middle. You can refrigerate it if you like, just let it firm up a little. And then stick your pears on top with a little bit more of that ganache at the back. Basically we're using it as glue. I was actually worried that they'd fall off. Um, when I didn't use a glue at the back, that's why the cake looks a little bit mangled because I decided to start over and just make sure that I had a glue in case. Once your first row has been applied and I'm making sure that the slices come up and over the edge of the cake, I'm going to apply my second layer overlapping them slightly in the middle. You could use buttercream for this by the way, or you could use just regular ganache, you don't have to go with the vegan option as I did. My partner doesn't really like to eat um, a lot of dairy products and that's why I went for the vegan option and also because I'm plant based myself too. Once all of your layers and petals or candied fruit slices have been added, I recommend creating a shell border at the base of your cake as well just to hide where you can see through to those spaces. I'm going to clean up my cake board with my spatula just scratching off that um, ganache and then you can take like a wet paper towel and just smooth it all down. Optional I've added edible gold to the top just between these slices 
and then an, a 32 piping tip with more of that ganache that I created just at the base. For a finishing touch, I've taken some uh, edible gold luster dust, just dry. I didn't add anything to create a paint, just dry to the brush directly onto the edges of my slices. And because they have that sugar syrup in there, they are slightly sticky still, so the edges will take on that um, edible dust pretty easily. And that's it. That's how you create a fun layered candied fruit cake that is plant-based or vegan and really delicious. Again, I'll have the recipe for the banana bread listed in the icon icon and the ganache recipe in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.